In this lesson, we're going to talk about different scale exercises that you can do. So the first thing that you want to choose is what scale do I want to do? So we've learned three scales. We've learned D major, G major, and C major. So here it also says where the note starts and where the note ends. And you can also go back to the original note. So with D major, you're going to start on D0, go up to A3, and you can come back. G major, you're going to start on G0, go up to E2, and then come back. C major, you're going to start on G3, go to A2, and then come back. Now it's very important to know where the fingers are being placed, mainly where the twos are going, which we discussed in a previous lesson. So once you have the scale, the next thing that you want to think about is what rhythm do I want to practice one of these scales in? So you have the options of using quarter notes, dotted quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes, and you can also put in slurs. Now there's all different kind of combinations you can have here. So let's say I want to do the D major scale and I want to do dotted quarter notes with eighth notes and I want to slur them together. So in that case I'm going to do this. And the last thing that you're going to do is pick a speed. So with that particular exercise, I could play that fast or slow. So I could go... Like that. Now you can make it even simpler. You could do maybe the G major scale, just half notes, and play it slowly. So you could just go like this. this whole system, there's probably about 20 to 30 different combinations of scales that you can do with the three different scales that you know, the, the rhythms and the speed. So play around with some of those and I would suggest practicing this, you know, five to ten minutes before you start actually playing your, doing your lesson. So you get really familiar with, with the finger placements and changing from different rhythms.